Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another video. Uh, pretty important one here today, in my opinion. Let's talk about the inside takeaway. What is an inside takeaway? Is it good? Is it bad? Does it matter? Let's talk about that. So a lot of times when I work with first time clients, whether it's in person or online, some of them, um, are always surprised when I ask if they all bring their hands more inside, okay? So a lot of players, um, they struggle with being outside in over the top, they're steep in the downswing. I ask them to all oh, like let the hands come low and inside and they're like super spooked, they're super surprised by it at first. So why that's the case, okay? For most of these players, they're making their backswing like this or I see them do a rehearsal, they're doing this. They're bringing their arms outside, they're bringing their hands up early, when that happens, the trail arm folds up too much, they get too vertical, there's no depth, okay? That's number one. When they have no depth and they're narrow, it leads to them chopping it back down. They're gonna pr probably continue to be more outside in, okay? For honestly, like I, I, I kid you not, a lot of people who are five degrees outside in, eight degrees outside in, whatever it may be, literally all I ask them to do, and this is a, I know this is a quick band aid. Uh, my la I usually don't do band-aids in my lessons, but just as a general rule of thumb, even this first piece of instead of having them go out and making sure they're not going up and out with their arms and hands in the takeaway, I have them feeling like they're coming low and inside, just having them come low and inside in the takeaway automatically brings them from five degrees, eight degrees outside in, back to zero, even a couple degrees inside out, okay? Why, we want in why do we want an inside takeaway, okay? And in, you can see like if all we do is let the hands dangle and all we do is turn, you can see my hands stay low and they come slightly inside, okay? That's great, that's how the movement should be. We don't wanna force it outside because you can see for my hands to go outside, my hands have to lift. Me doing this as I turn is what brings the hands outside or me doing this without the turn also brings the hands outside. If all I do is turn without the lift, this should come low and inside which is why we wanna make sure, um, which is why an inside takeaway is welcome. How we do the inside takeaway properly without, uh, without negative consequences is making sure that you can see when we set up, the arms and hands and club are in front of the torso. As I make the inside takeaway, you can see I'm keeping my arms, hands and, hands and elbows in front of my torso. I'm not doing this, okay? I don't want this to happen. As a band-aid, I still much rather see you do this than do this. But as a, as a big picture development, I'd much rather see you turn, keeping your hands low and inside, with the club head still outside your hands because you can be low and inside with the takeaway with the hands, but the club can still go through your hand and still travel steep. Inside takeaway with the hands does not mean the club should whip inside. That is incorrect. That is too much forearm rotation video for another day. But for most players, inside takeaway, a takeaway will probably help. So you can see if all I do is turn, hands come low and inside and then go up, the in and up hand path is generally uh, a beneficial thing for most amateur players. So let's try. Now if all I do is turn, letting the hands go low and inside as I keep my arms, elbows, hands in front of my chest, in and then up because I'm keeping everything in front of my chest, you can see my hands travel in and up, low and inside in a takeaway, but that generally leads to pretty good dynamics in the downswing where I will come from the inside slightly without having to do anything extra, okay? Sure, if you're someone who's 15 degrees outside in, you're gonna have to do something extra to get it back inside out. But if you're someone who's single digit inside out because you're someone who lifts early in the takeaway hands and come up and out in the takeaway, if you just try your best to keep your hands low and inside in the takeaway, you may be surprised because that generally will lead to you coming from the inside in the downswing, okay? So my stance on the inside takeaway is a very good one. I really prefer for most players to be inside takeaway. Generally, most of my clients won't have an outside takeaway. They may be slightly straight, slightly inside, but I don't really have many clients who go outside. I have a couple, but that's because they, they let everything flow into the downswing very nicely. So one more time for you guys, if you're someone who does this a lot and you're struggling, stop rehearsing this, stop trying to keep your hands away from you. Let your hands come low and inside in the takeaway. As long as you keep your arms, hands, club, structure in front of your torso throughout the backswing, good things should happen, okay? So let's try that. Any questions, leave in the comments below. Embrace the inside takeaway. If you're struggling with your ball striking, if you're struggling being outside in, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks guys.